How's it going today? Good. How are you? Great. Thank you. Uh, first off, I'd read that you have a personal connection with pigeon racing, but outside of that personal connection, what was it about this story that you felt was really important to you know tell and bring to the bring to the big screen? You know, to me, what I love about this movie is that every character is in a state of crisis in one way or another dying, either figuratively or literally. Um, but the movie ultimately is very life affirming and it's ultimately about pushing through to the other side of that crisis and liberating yourself, unshackling yourself. And I think, you know, I've been attached to this movie for six years and I felt like the movie just became more and more relevant and more and more timely because I think we all feel in the last few years, we all understand crisis in a different way. Um, and I think we all realize we're one moment away from crisis. Um, and I think to me it was important to make a film that felt like you you know we we can face down those things and we can push through to the other side of that darkness um, and I'll, I'll ultimately I think the movie is entertaining and hopeful because of it so that that's what really drew me to the movie beyond the metaphor of of the pigeons and littling it deals with a number of different uh, subjects and themes what was your approach to making sure that each one of those subjects was properly represented throughout the film? Well, you know, it primarily deals with a young girl and uh, she's having a really tough time. Her parents have just gotten divorced. She's losing her house. There's moments of real darkness in terms of her, um, you know, her thoughts of suicide. Um, and it was important for Brooklyn and I, Brooklyn Prince, who plays the lead, to really be honest about those themes. Um, and I know Brooklyn drew on some of her personal history and, and felt very connected to the material and really was passionate about, about being honest with what young people face. And I never wanted this movie to talk down to the audience. Um, and I wanted to be honest and truthful about those things. Um, and so it was a real collaboration with Brooklyn to make sure that it felt like it really was authentic to a young girl's experience. And I think because of it and because of the... The, the things that the other characters going through, like Brian Cox and the stuff that he's facing, I think it's for all audiences as well. I think adults really will find something in this, whether they have kids um, or not. Yeah, there's definitely a little something for everybody here, for sure. Uh, throughout shooting, what was the most challenging aspect of, of making Little Wing for you? I think just, you know, staying honest to the characters and the material and, and making sure that the film didn't become sentimental or saccharine. Even though the movie, I think, is really entertaining, um, it goes to real places, characters are going through real stuff, but ultimately, I think, is hopeful and life-affirming. Um, I wanted to make sure that, that the movie didn't feel like the Hollywood fake version of that, that it was still really entertaining, but was honest and truthful uh, and felt like a real human experience. Well, Dean, is there anything else that you want to say to wrap up, just to say to, to audiences that will be checking out the movie on starting on March 13th? You know, just that I really think it's for everyone. You know, I think if you have kids, watch it with your kids. I think if you don't have kids, you'll still enjoy it. Well, hey, Dean, thank you so much for your time. I want to say that I got, got to check out the film in advance, and it's one of my favorite movies of the year. So thank, thank you. you. It was so great much. talking to you. I appreciate that.